Alright, what is up guys? Loser Manic here, and welcome to another episode of Fallout 4 Strategies. This is basically where I go through, and I kind of make videos, uh, based, uh, and I give advice and basic help, I guess. And I help out people who are new to this game. Um, and I say Fallout 4 because New Vegas is a lot more straightforward than Fallout 4. There's a lot more to Fallout 4 than New Vegas. Um, so yeah, and it, 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 it took me a lot longer to figure out Fallout 4 over New Vegas. Granted, I've played New Vegas um, a lot more than, or a lot longer than Fallout 4, but still. Um, so yeah, today's episode we are looking at critical magazines. Now, I ain't talking about like magazines that are critical to your playthroughs. I'm talking about magazines that increase your critical damage. Whether and there are main and there are mainly three. One of them, I didn't realize, is like a different one than the rest. I'll explain later. I didn't want to spoil it. So the three main ones that do that increase your critical damage is Guns and Bullets, Grognak the Barbarian, and Tesla Science Magazine. Um, Guns and Bullets increase your critical damage with lead weapons or guns by five percent per per magazine, and there are ten magazines. Or I don't know why I held up five when there are ten magazines. Um, Grognak the Barbarian increases your melee and unarmed critical damage by the same amount, by 5%, and there are actually 11 magazines. I'll go over that in a moment. These magazines are a bit weird, I realize. And, the, and then finally, you have the Tesla Science Magazine, which increases your critical damage to energy weapons by 5%, and there are, get this, Nine magazines. There's nine magazines of Tesla science. Who knew? So, I'm not going to go over the locations of all of them. I'm just giving you guys the names so you guys can look out for them. Um, just so you guys can know which one, uh, which magazines to look for. Now, some of the things I do want to explain. These are actually... These are actually a key essential for any build you do. And they do actually have it for any sort of play style you do. You want to do a stealth fist character, boom, Grognak the Barbarian. Which is a lot harder to find, but um, one of them is almost impossible to get all ten. If you don't follow certain certain rules, which I will go over in a moment. Um, so yeah, basically think of like any sort of playthrough or playstyle you can think of. These magazines will work. They have to and they will. Because they basically have it for any sort of damage type you can think of. Pistols kind of fall under whether you're using an energy weapon or... Um, a revolver, boom, there you go. Um, or whether you're using, like, lead-spitting pistols or plasma-shooting pistols, there's something there for you. Um, so these are actually key essentials. Now, a couple of things I do want to mention. Yes, Tesla Science has nine magazines. I didn't, I don't know why. I didn't know that until I was setting up this video. I decided to go, because I wanted to double check and make sure that each of them ha had a rightful um, damage, t damage percentage, which it is. Um, each magazine increases your critical damage by 5%, which means for um, Grognak the Barbarian and Guns and Bullets, you do, if you max it out, you get a total of 50% damage boost to your criticals um and with tesla science you get 45 um i'm not sure why um but whatever um so yeah so now let's go over some stuff that i need to mention ahead of time one if you are using a lead spitting character this may prove to be a difficulty to get all of them if you don't side with the railroad and the reason that is is because the guns, one of the guns and bullets magazines is in Ticonderoga, but the only way you have 
you're able to access Ticonderoga beginning to end, like interior wise, to be able to get the magazine is siding with the railroad, believe it or not. It is ridiculous, but it's understandable. Now, there are mods that can fix that. There are mods that do fix that. There are a couple of mo the, there are a couple of magazines in the game that you could easily miss out on if you don't get them. Um, some of them may be worth it. Some of them are not. But that's my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, so do keep in mind if you are using a gun character. Make sure you started with the railroad to at least you don't have to and you don't have to destroy the institute with them, but you definitely should It's literally the second Quest that you have to do For the railroad so you can easily do that and then just ignore them throughout the whole game if you don't want to side with them um, But it's something I highly advise doing Just for the magazine alone if not the ending I'm uh, siding with the railroad, but that's my personal opinion. I'm not going to get into that yet. Um, who knows? Maybe I may make a whole series or a whole episode just talking about um, which character is good for you. Um, so yeah, th these magazines take out re are really good if you do a sniper playthrough. The reason that is is because unless you're doing... Unless if you go and do like Fudge Muppets Disciple Sniper, that one doesn't really have all the benefit. They're more about accuracy rather than accuracy and damage. Um, but if you do Fudge Muppets Sharpshooter character where they do its criticals upon criticals and all that, it is definitely worth having this one. Um, so, um, yeah. And then with Grognak the Barbarian, there are 11 magazines. But, um... And I think both of them, I think both of the different magazines show up in a vault. Um, or is involved in a vault. Um, it's the one that you get from Malden Middle School, which is Vault 75, I think. If I remember properly, I think it's Vault 75. Um, and with that, it's pretty straightforward, just... Um, I don't know. Um, so yeah, but the 11 magazines do not stack. So that means you won't get a 55% increase to melees as much as I wish you could because my favorite character of all time is a stealth assassin or is a uh, yeah, a stealth melee character. It is so much fun, but that 55% isn't going to help. So so that's not going to work either. I don't know if if you don't pick up all the Grognak the Barbarian magazines and get the two, if that in, if that doubles it. So like, if you start off with like, um, if you don't have any sort of Grognak magazines, and then you get those two, I don't know. I don't know if that adds two or one. I don't know. Um, you guys, let me know in the comments section down below how Grognak the Barbarian works with that. The so yeah, that's that's the downside of having this one. Um, by the way, one of them is by far one of the easiest magazines to find for this one is in your house at the start of the, from the start of the game. So if you if you miss this one, um, cool. Um, I'm not here to shame anyone. I I understand completely. Um. So yeah, um, so this one is by far my favorite magazine because like I said before, I do um, stealthy, stealth melee characters a lot, so this one is really fun to do. Um, so yeah, as for Tesla Magazine, despite what I believed before, so I'll go over what I, what I thought was something that had to happen to get all of the Tesla Science Magazines, and let me tell you guys the truth. So... What I believed was that the only way you can get one of the Tesla magazines was by doing the call to arms or call for backup or whatever. The first Brotherhood of Steel quest ever where you have to evade arc jet systems to find um, a receiver. I thought, I thought you had to do that to get one of the Tesla magazines, 
but as it turns out, you don't really need to. Um, but, um, again, like I mentioned before, while Guns and Bullets has 10, Grognak has 11, which does nothing, um, Science, or Test of Science Magazine has 9. So, there's that. Another thing that I should mention is one of the Guns and Bullets is in the castle. If you don't know, the castle is a Minuteman, um, not, not settlement, but base. Um... So, so yeah, um, so there's that, um, so do keep in mind, if you're, even if you're not, if you're not signing with the Minutemen, you don't have to, um, um, with that stealthy assassin character I talked about, I side with the railroad because that kind of gives it a railroad feel, um, and I use... Um, the Deliverer, which, um, is very useful, um, but if I also want to use it as, like, a main thing, I also use it, um, for, that's what I use Guns and Bullets for. So you don't need to side with the Minutemen for that, but you do have to work with the Railroad to get one of the Guns and Bullets. Just keep that in mind, um, whenever you do so. Um, so yeah, that, uh, there isn't really much to add to this one, but, yeah, so... <laughs> What I find funny is that Grognak the Barbarian adds for melee and unarmed, but his weapon in Hubris Comics is a melee weapon. <laughs> so, do with that what you will. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, I'll have another video tomorrow. Um, I'm home alone by myself for quite a while, so I'm going to try and pop out as much of these videos as I can before I head back to Colorado for two weeks. Um, I'm so excited to be, I'm so excited to return to Colorado for two weeks. Um, but, I want to try to pump out as much of these videos as I can with the time space I have, so be on the lookout tomorrow for a video where I talk about more of these magazines. Um, I might go over all of the endings also. Um, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, I do talk in great depth about why each of these each of the endings are pretty bad. Um, so if you guys do want to check out those videos, um, check out my channel because I don't like leaving links to stuff since I mostly use on phone, on phone, on my phone so th that I record with. Um, it's an Android, by the way. So all these people who are like, God, this quality is amazing. What do you use? I use an Android. So um, have fun. Uh, <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. It's, it's all a lie and that makes it pretty bad. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Or also, if you found this useful, uh, leave a like. Um, also, leave a comment down below. Um, which which magazines do you prefer of these three ones? Um, personally, I've never really gotten all of the tests of science because, again, I didn't realize that I I don't have to side with the Brotherhood of Steel to, or I don't have to work with the Brotherhood of Steel to get all the tests of science. I think I was pretty close. This. By the way, the test of science is also pretty good if you max out the laser musket. But I also did want to mention, contrary to what you may see, guns and bullets actually affect the Gauss rifle, not test of science. Even though test of si even though a Gauss rifle is an energy weapon, um, for some reason the Gauss rifle just is affected by guns and bullets. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't make the game. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. I th I think I think the Gauss rifle is. Affected by guns and bullets. I'm not sure. But if you do want to collect them all. You can. Just make sure to side with the railroad to collect them all. Um, I will be going over a few ones that. Uh, the next video I have planned. I have two videos planned. One of them. In, in a set you could easily miss. Um, if, you're, if you don't know about it. So um, yeah. So yeah, with that being said, yeah, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this or if you found this useful. Comment down below your favorite magazine of these three. Like I mentioned before, Grok and the Barbarian is my personal favorite. Just because they're in different locations and I love exploring all of freaking Fallout 4. It's so fun. Um, and also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. 
Um, I release videos whenever I can, so um, I don't have a schedule because um, I hate filming around other people unless I have to, um, then I will. That's not true, but um, yeah, but hitting that subscribe button also means that you guys can be notified as to when I upload by hitting that bell notification. Since I don't have a schedule, you guys will be notified as to when I upload, so that way you guys don't have to worry about me being in the way of your favorite YouTuber, of of your of you watching your favorite YouTubers. And instead, um, you can just be notified as to when I upload, and then you can watch that, and then you, and then you can get back to the rest of your day. So yeah, I, that just sounds like I'm desperate for subscribers. Um, I'm not. I just. I decided to like give you a reason to hit that bell notification is all. Um, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> Lose a manic out.